While many people know how well-connected Kevin Bacon, the actor, is with other Hollywood stars, they may not be aware of how connected our Kevin Bacon, the UC Davis alum, is to his alma mater. Bacon has decided to remain involved because of the relationships he made during his time as a student. I went to a student senate meeting, of all things, and as a as a result of being there, I ran into one of my friends who said, oh, you should come talk to us. And so I then started on what turned out to be about a three quarters time job my whole senior year of being involved with, you know, the business operations side of ASUCD, which was as big a part of my education here as any of the other things that I studied. From his experience at ASUCD, Bacon began working for the UC Student Lobby, a first-of-its-kind organization that served as the voice for UC students at the state capitol. Bacon worked with lobbyists to help allocate millions of dollars for undergraduate courses, teachers, and financial aid. I wound up interviewing for the job and was selected, and so I graduated on a Wednesday, and on Monday I was in Sacramento starting work in a new job. After a number of years in the workforce, Bacon decided to apply to the London School of Economics with the help of his former professor, Ed Constantine. And it turned out that Ed had been on the faculty in a university in the UK, and so he wrote me a nice letter, which I'm sure probably had a lot to do with me getting in because I was applying to an economics program even though I'd never studied much economics when I was at UC Davis, but he convinced him that I would be a fast learner, and so it helped me get to, along the way. Bacon went on to work for PricewaterhouseCoopers and IBM. In 2004, a fellow Aggie asked Bacon to join the foundation board. Despite living in Texas, the request motivated him to reconnect to his alma mater. He soon found himself doing the same type of work that he was doing in his 20s, raising funds for UC Davis and for future Aggies. Bacon's dedication and leadership of the UC Davis Foundation Board during the first-ever comprehensive campaign helped the university to surpass its fundraising goal with a total of $1.1 billion and engaged more than 100,000 unique donors. The more I got involved, the more I understood that, you know, I grew up in an era where the state government provided most of the support for the UC, UC Davis. And, you know, today, unfortunately, that's not the case. And this, the state's funding, while it's important, is still is not really enough uh, for what we want to try and do here on the campus. So what kept me coming back after her ad being asked was how I find it really interesting. I mean, there's always interesting people and interesting things happening on the Davis campus. So being involved is sort of, to me, a big part of the payback is, you know, there's a lot of neat things happening here. Bacon and his wife, Kim, also a UC Davis graduate, have contributed generously both financially and through exceptional leadership because they know that most students aren't alone in their college journey. It's a way to kind of encourage the next generation of people who hopefully will keep UC Davis moving forward. Uh, I, I, I understand that like I didn't get here by myself. I mean, you know, my parents, you know, sacrificed to get us into college. So, you know, you have to understand that, you know, you didn't do this by yourself, that there's a community of people involved in it. So I'm in a position, you know, where it's possible to give money back to help UC Davis. You know, it seems like only the right thing to do.